Good morning. So, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. I am 36 weeks today. Yeah, I'm so excited. So, this is the final month of pregnancy, y'all. Final month, and I am so happy because I, I'm just at the point where I'm uncomfortable. I'm exhausted. I'm just ready for this pregnancy to be over with. Like, y'all know how it is towards the end when it's like, okay, I had enough. Like, it, it, it's, it's, I had enough. I'm so excited we getting our stuff tomorrow. Um, Boy, he always doing something. Always. What are you doing? <laughs> Got the coconut oil out of the drawer. You probably hurt yourself. Nah, leave it alone. So anyway, today, today's mission, I'm trying to be super woman, super mom. I'm trying to get everything done, and I'm trying to get this house together. Go out and try to find a toddler bed, a dresser. What else? Just like stuff for to put their room together. And uh, you want to play with this helmet? I got to go return this AT&T equipment to a UPS store. I just got a lot to do. So, y'all, again, go hang out with me and Alexander. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? So proud of myself i got all the way to walmart by myself with no gps all the way in manhattan and the reason i had to do it without gps is because my phone service sucks like i have sprint but it's just like every time i would plug something in it wouldn't even it would just say server loss like it's just really really bad so i'm actually trying to look for some new service um in a minute but y'all let me tell y'all the fatigue the tired the tiredness is really real like we just took an hour nap in the car turned on that air and i was just like i gotta go to sleep and i was looking for a toddler bed but i'm just mad and i should have expected this but they have one here and it's a good one but i just don't like the color i just want it to be black because i want their room to be like black and gray and they have like a dark brown but and they have other ones down here, like a car bed. But I just kind of wanted something basic. And I'm also getting some, getting Isaac some newborn clothes. How cute is this? <laughs> Little brother. So cute. Oh my God, y'all. Look at this. I know I'm not having a girl, but this is so cute. You make me want a little girl, but no. The next time I, if I, years and years and years from now i feel like if i wanted to ha go ahead and have three it'll be another boy and then i'll be like i'm i'm just done but <laughs> i'm not i'm straight i'm telling y'all like so serious i am good with two like i will be good for some years but this is so cute i love when they got little stuff on the butt <laughs> that is just so adorable one of more cheetos I'm telling y'all, I'm straight. I don't, I don't need no little girl. I'll be fine with these two, two boys. You want your juice? If I remember right, I, I think he already got like a whole bunch of newborn pajamas, but it's just the newborn clothes that he don't have. I'm just looking at these. Like this is just so cute. This is a preemie. Oh my gosh, so cute. Just so tiny. <laughs> this is like my first time really, baby clothes shopping for Isaac so that's exciting yes oh this is cute I gotta get this only five dollars too the little rumper sets a little newborn oh so cute throw that in the bag y'all I just realized how unprepared I am for, <laughs> for Isaac like I got over here and I remember like 
Oh yeah, he gonna need some bottles. Oh yeah, he gonna need some diapers. I got him the Tommy Tippy bottles because I really like those. Um, when Alex was trying to transition, even though he did not like the bottle at all. We'll see. Got him a little um, bottle cleaner. Uh, just a little pack of newborn diapers. Y'all know how they run through these. They don't stay newborn size for a long time, so I just got one pack of those um, just to start off. Then I got him a pack of onesies. And I got him four little outfits. He's so cute. And now, oh, pacifiers. He might like pacifiers, and we gonna try them. And um, trying to think. Oh, the event kind. Those was my favorite. The soothies. Zero to three months. Oh shoot. Yeah, the soothies are bomb. So I'm gonna get these. Oh, they on sale too. So pacifiers, y'all. Yeah, I really. I like, forgot about all of this. Now with the breast pump, I'm supposed to be getting one or get a prescription road through TRICARE so I can get a free breast pump. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna wait on that to my next doctor appointment to see if they can go ahead and write me a prescription. This boy is throwing snacks. Why are you mad? Boy. But anyway, I got his mattress for his toddler bed. I'm gonna just go ahead and order the one I want because get him some sheets and stuff. And try to get Alexander to transition onto sleeping in his own bed, which I'm nervous about <laughs> because he's been sleeping with us for forever. I mean, sometimes, oh, excuse me, sometimes he'll sleep in his crib, but he'll either wake up early or wake up in the, in the middle of the night and want to come sleep with us. So, yeah, we're gonna see how this works, trying to transition him to his own room. Well, him and Isaac will be sharing a room. And I want them both to sleep in there. So we're going to try it out and see how it works. Get him something he wants. Yeah, little duck. <laughs> What's that? That's cool, huh? Look at my baby's head today, y'all. <laughs> I tried to do like a little braid and man bun. Fail, but it's, it's looking like something. He's trying to reach these things. Those are pretty cool, but that's not a toy, but come on. Uh, we are in a Hobby Lobby, and I just had to get him out and get him for a walk. I went to the Sprint store. He reset my phone, so hopefully my service is acting better. So he said, we going to see. <laughs> but Alex just needed to stretch his legs. It's, yo, his toddler itis is kicking in today. Like, I don't think I've ever been in Hobby Lobby, which is crazy, but it's really cool in here. Like, I like the rustic type of stuff that they have here. That's really nice. I like stuff like this. Oh, well, yeah, I like stuff like this, like rustic, vintage, you know. to like suction on the window it broke and i was like you know what i'm about to make this work i'm probably gonna get a new one but for now i was like i need it up there i need it up there to look at my phone for gps and stuff so <laughs> i take the thing <laughs> kansas is hot lord kansas is hot so this is like the third day in a row it's been 84 85 85 degrees it's probably hotter than that but um, what Alexander, I, I need to get him back home. That's it, and I just hope, crossing my fingers, that this Wi-Fi is in the mail today. It's been like a week without us having Wi-Fi. When I tell y'all, oh my God, it's been so hard <laughs> trying to do anything. I gotta go to the office to get on Wi-Fi and get on my computer and do stuff. So anyway, um, I'm headed to the UPS store just to return this AT&T equipment. I wish I could have kept AT&T, but they don't have that service available out where we live so so we are at the park 
I don't like that this part has sand because Alex, and he's not listening to me. He just gonna have to get sand in his eye to learn. <laughs> but um, this park is like the closest one to our house. It's a nice little park. It's kind of like a bigger kid park. He just over there. All he needs is a slide and he good. That's our Wi-Fi camera day. I'm so happy. At first, I was like so bummed because I, I looked in the mailbox and I'm like, it ain't come. But they sent it to the wrong address. They sent it to my neighbor's house, so she brought it to me. Yay! Go out! Such a big boy going down a slide by himself. Yeah, I'm just happy that she came and brought it to me. So I was like, yes. But I can't hook it up until it activates. They said we're after five. So I was like, let's go kill some time. Look at him. He is over there having so much fun in this scene. Lord. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. Some lady at Hobby Lobby thought Alexander was a girl. This is an older lady. She was like, she sat still enough for you to do that to her hair? Because I, I got like a little braid. Y'all seen it, the little braid and the, the bun, the ponytail in his head. And at first I just thought I didn't hear her. I'm like, said something else like, um, she's so cute or something like that. And I was just like, dang, she really did say she. She, th <laughs> she thought my baby was a girl. I was like, oh, whatever. The ponytail. The whole ponytail thing threw her off. Oh, and look at this little boy. <laughs> he got sent off in his hair. Oh my gosh. The bathtub is going to be a mess tonight. Alexander. But you know what? Whatever. I, I'm letting him do what he wants. Letting him have his fun. Because like I said, he been a trooper. He handles transition very well. We moved two times within the last year. Yeah, so... And he, oh yay! And he's just been so good. Hi, he been so good through all the transitions and then moving to a whole new state. And he just he deserves to have a little sand in his hair if you want. Yay! He been hanging in there, y'all, through all these moves and transitions at such a young age. Yay! Go Al! Let's go see Alex. say it is hot out here it's hot I'm about to get used to this heat <laughs> this Kansas heat it's burning up and Alex don't care I'm like thinking like when is he gonna be ready to come in the house you know kids don't never be ready to go in the house they don't care how hot it is they don't care how cold it is they don't care if it's raining outside they just want to play outside look at him he found the big people part and ran over here <laughs> You ready to go bye bye? That's enough. You ready to go bye bye, Bubs? I asked him earlier. He said, mm -mm. <laughs> No. <laughs> Alex, you not ready to go? No. <sighs> oh, Lord. <laughs> you not ready to go bye bye? You're not ready? Ready to go bye-bye? Okay. <laughs> 